What up, nomads? There are a lot of reasons to travel in life. For fun, for business, to get over a breakup, and because you got invited to attend an important event in a loved one's life. I'm talking weddings, graduations, you know, the kinds of trips where you need to pack something nice to wear. Packing formal wear is a slightly different game and involves a few modified tactics to my usual packing hacks. And I'll cover these in this video. Let's go. First off, pick an outfit with a travel friendly fabric. Consider the actual dress or suit you plan on packing. Is it silk, linen, wool, something else? There are choices that will be more travel friendly than others. For example, a wool suit that is labeled as crease resistant might be made of a blended fabric that bounces back more easily. Or you might choose a pleated dress that holds its shape better and also hides any possible wrinkles. Natural fibers can wrinkle more easily, although I also find them easier to iron or steam if you have time. But I mentioned fabric because if we're talking about packing formal wear, we have to talk about how to choose travel friendly suits and dresses. Darker colors are also better at hiding little creases. Consider if you can get around packing your formal wear altogether. Like most of my trips, the trip length and mode of transportation have a big impact on the bag that I use to pack. And in turn, the bag has a big impact on how I pack my formal attire. Is it a weekend trip in a car or a two week trip by plane? If I'm traveling by car, this is the best case scenario for transporting formal wear because you can avoid putting it in a bag at all. You can have it freshly pressed and suspend it on a hook in your back seat. That way you don't even need to fit it into a bag and you don't run any risk of creasing. You might want to put the item in a garment bag just to protect it and possibly avoid direct sunlight if you can. But overall, this method has the best chances of keeping your item pristine. Consider investing in a garment bag. Now, there are kind of two categories of garment bags. The thin ones that are just for covering your items and those that double as a personal carry-on item. If a suit or a dress needs to be ready to go like right when you arrive, I recommend using a garment bag and especially the garment bags that are also a personal item. This is more than just a garment bag. It's also a travel bag where you have pockets and sections so you can pack extra things in it. Business travelers love these and often if you're flying business or first class, if you're so lucky, you can ask to have your bag hung in a coat closet on the plane. If you'd rather not transport a garment bag like that, you can also get a thinner garment bag that folds into your suitcase. Clip it into your suitcase and gently fold the garment bag in and close it. It's not perfect, but it can limit the creasing to a minimum. Once you get to your destination, make sure you take out your garment bag and suspend your items as soon as possible. I recommend getting your items dry cleaned and pressed before you pack them. But if you're doing it at home, do please remember not to steam your items right before you pack them. Do it at least the night before. Putting an item that has been freshly steamed and is still warm in a suitcase will actually cause more creasing. Make sure that you let your item completely cool before you pack it. If you have room, I would recommend packing a travel steamer, or you can make sure that the hotel, Airbnb, or place you're staying has one. A few spritz of a wrinkle release spray or even water in a bottle can help speed things up. Hanging a dress or shirt in the bathroom while taking the steamy shower can also help, but it's not as effective as having a straight up steamer. If you're really fancy, you can inquire at your hotel if they have a dry clean pickup service and you can have them press your item after you've arrived. Tips for minimizing wrinkles when folding clothes. If you must fold your clothes into a small suitcase, I recommend rolling your items instead and folding them along the seams or creases so the creasing is more intentional and a little bit less obvious. There are tips for packing a blazer if you don't have a garment bag or can't spare the room. The trick is to pack it inside out and fold along the garment seams. It's pretty cool and I'll leave a link below to another video on how to do this. For delicate items that have beading, having a bit of tissue paper between folds can also protect items from snags and indentations. 
I also highly recommend fully closing zippers of packed items so nothing snags as you pull it out of your bag. The tissue paper trick is also great for beaded purses. In fact, if you have a purse that's extra delicate, I also recommend stuffing the inside of the purse so it keeps its shape in transit. For shoes, to protect your fancy special occasion shoes, I recommend using a shoe tree, those inserts that keep a shoe's shape when packing them. You can also stuff them with tissue paper if you don't have a shoe tree. So bottom line, invest in a lot of tissue paper. You can pack the shoes in a bag, a shoe packing cube, or a box to protect them. Boxes don't make the most use of a suitcase, but if keeping the shoes pristine is the most important thing, then a box is your best bet. You might consider filling the cracks around the shoes with things like socks and underwear, so you're really maximizing the space in your suitcase while protecting your shoes. If you think you might need a quick polish of your shoes, bring a small shoe shine kit. For jewelry, I recommend investing in a jewelry case that is soft on the inside so your items don't get scratched in transit. I have one, I got it off of Amazon, and I actually use it to store my jewelry at home, so it's not just a travel item. Apart from tips on packing formal wear, pay close attention to how you pack everything else so you can avoid any accidents. Pack scratchy or sharp objects far away from delicate items, and please be extra careful with liquid cosmetics. Double bag them or pack them in a different bag altogether so you don't run the risk of anything spilling in your bag, which would be just awful. It can happen to the best of packers because sometimes when you check a bag and security opens up your luggage and goes through your stuff, they don't put things back the way you packed them. So you can have spills that were their fault and not yours. I hope these tips were helpful, but don't stress about it. If you're traveling to share a special day with a friend or family member, your presence is the most important thing, not the condition of your outfit. Happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the capsule suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.